So there's multiple levels uh, where one person can have an impact on, on future climate change. Um, there are things that you can do yourself, you know, be more efficient, have a lower carbon footprint, that's good, but it's not enough in and of itself. Uh, a much better uh, use of an individual's time is trying to ensure that the conversation and the awareness of this is a sustainable conversation, that, that this isn't something that we talk about for a week and then we forget about, that it's something that, you know, gets built into decisions that we're making, not just for us personally, but for our companies or for our town or for our community or for our church or for our state or for our, our country. There's a lot of different decisions that get made uh, where knowledge and awareness of climate change uh, could affect those decisions. And that's where we need to really be focusing on. The situation is not going to be changed because you recycle your paper every morning. The situation is going to be changed because society is going to make large-scale decisions about where it gets its energy, how it uses its energy, and how much energy it uses. And those are the fundamental things that we need to make sure uh, that when those decisions are made and as those decisions are made, uh, people are aware of the consequences of those decisions. There are lots of things we can do about climate change. Some of these are changes to our own individual lives. So we could try to live lives where we consume much less fossil fuels, perhaps where we consume less material goods, or if we do mat consume material goods, whether that's computers or refrigerators or the things that we normally buy, clothes and so forth, we can try to buy ones that are produced in a more um, environmentally friendly way with lower carbon emissions. But as well as doing things directly ourselves like that, we also need to engage with our family, with our friends, with our work colleagues, with our companies, with our institutions, but also then with governments. We need to, to write to our MPs, to our politicians, to express our views about these things. So it is not enough to just do the things yourself. You have to do those as well. We have to lead by example. But we also have to ensure that we engage with all areas of, of civil society, right from, I say, our friends, right through to our politicians. You know, climate change is caused by the, the, the choices that we make, you know, whether we choose to drive to work or live where we can take the bus, which maybe here in Iceland is not a big deal. You might have better bus service than we in L.A. do, but in L.A. you really have to be very careful where you live if you want to be on a bus line. And, and I, you know, I live on, I have a condo in which I could take the bus to work. So that was a choice. It caused me the, to not be able to live in many parts of the city. Um, you make a choice whenever you travel. I have to choose carefully when I, what events I choose to travel to for climate change outreach because it, it's a aviation travel especially is a huge, huge blow to one's personal carbon budget. You know, I, you can make a choice to have solar panels, which I do, um, to drive electric cars, um, to consume less, which is probably the most important thing. Instead of having a big house full of things, you have a small condo full of less things. Um, those are the kinds of things that you as an individual can do. Uh, reduce our own footprints, uh, carbon footprints. Uh, reduce uh, emissions uh, in our own lives. Uh, drive less uh, or use uh, uh, vehicles uh, that don't use fossil fuel energy. Um, eat uh, less red meat. Um, those have major impacts, the livestock systems we know now, not only health impacts, but environmental impacts. Um, uh, live uh, in a way that uh, uh, benefits the ecosystems more. Uh, think about our water use, think about uh, how we sort of impact personally uh, ecosystems, uh, whether it's the beaches, whether it's the mountains, whether it's the lakes and rivers. Uh, and and uh, interact closely with our politicians and policymakers, convey to them uh, our own feelings as to what we feel about the environment, how we would like ourselves and our children and our next generation to be impacted.